Let's talk about this little tidbit. I saw some people freaking out about this, and I don't, like, I don't see the big deal, honestly. I, I don't think it's actually that big of a problem. The Last of Us actors for the HBO series haven't played the games. Um, quote, the actors for both Joel and Ellie in HBO's The Last of Us series have not played the games and were even encouraged not to. The video game adaptations are often tricky things, or video game ad ad adaptations are tr often tricky things to get right, as proven by years of lukewarm reception to uh, projects, I can't read, based on iconic gaming franchises. However, with recent successes such as Cyberpunk, Edge Runners, and Arcane, some fans out there have some hope when it comes to the adaptations of their favorite games. Um, there's a bunch of stuff coming down the, down the road, and also... Uh, the HBO series for The Last of Us is no different. Two people that are perhaps uh, not as familiar with the stories of Joel and Ellie, as you would expect, are reportedly the people playing them. According to an interview with USA Today, actress Bella Ramsey, who is set to play Ellie in the HBO series, stated that she hadn't played the game, either of them, for the record. When asked in the first audition whether she'd had the chance to play either The Last of Us or its sequel or the DLC... Ramsey simply replied, nope, and the people auditioning her told her to, quote, keep it that way. This caused people like on Twitter to just explode. People like, how freaking dare they? Uh, the game, like the show is going to be horrible because it's not going to be true to the games because they haven't even bothered playing the games. What the hell? I don't think it's a huge deal because at the end of the day, I would rather this offer something new and different than just attempt to be a carbon copy, but with real life actors. Um, because I've seen that story before. I would like this to bring something different to the table. That being said, I do understand why the perception isn't great. You know, especially because people are already feeling like, hey, these characters are very near and dear to us. You better treat them right. You better do well. And then to hear, oh, no, we haven't even played the game. Like, the thing that inspired this whole thing, yeah, we haven't even bothered. It would be like, you know, on the, um, for, like, the Witcher series on Netflix. It would be like if if Henry Cavill had come out and said, oh, no, no, I haven't read the books, played the games. Like, I have no clue what this is. Um, looked up some YouTube videos. So, yeah. I can understand why that would be upsetting. So, I, I get it. I just don't think it's that big of a deal in this particular instance, especially because Neil Druckmann, who, of course, created The Last of Us, is heavily involved in this HBO series. And he literally knows the characters better than anyone. He created them. He is their god. So I think if anybody can maintain accuracy with portraying them, it would be Neil Druckmann being involved with this. So I, I'm not too worried about how these these characters are portrayed. Um as long as it's slightly different and offers something unique. Like at the end of the day, they were never going to do a carbon copy of Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson. I think it is. And that's good. Like if they tried to just be Joel from the game and Ellie from the game, it would come off badly because that's not who they are. And that, that was never going to be their interpretation of the character. That was those other actors interpretation. If you wanted that out of the show, you should have hired Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson, but you didn't. And for good reason. I mean, they're both like, I think they're both in their forties or something. They're, they're a lot older than I expected them to be, but, um, I don't think they would appear super great on camera. <laughs> in Those roles would probably be pretty cringe. Uh, one thing I did find funny that it's just stupid. Um, so she did admit to watching some of the gameplay on YouTube to get a sense of the world of the last of us. Okay. Also, Ramsey went on to say that she is so quote, so excited, end quote, for the show to release. I, <laughs> I, I just find that like freaking hilarious. Like, why, wh why is this necessary? What, like, what does this sentence give us? And, like, are you gonna? Would you tell us if it was the opposite? Like, also, Ramsey went on to say that she is freaking terrified for the show to release. <laughs> like, she is dreading it. Like, you never say that. But when it's like. Oh, she's really excited for people to see it. Of course she is. Why wouldn't she be? Like, it's such a stupid, useless sentence. I just, it drives me crazy. But they do this all the time. Like, actors will say this all the time. Oh, I'm so excited for people to see what we've been working on with uh, with the latest Avengers movie. Like, okay, yeah. If you said, oh, we're really dreading it, that would be horrible. 
And it's funny because that's what a lot of actors and actresses were saying about the Game of Thrones finale. People were like, not that great. Not that great. Uh-oh. Pedro Pascal, the star of The Mandalorian, who plays Joel in The Last of Us, also reportedly hasn't spent much time with the game, only catching a glimpse of them through watching his nephew play. According to Pascal, he wanted to keep a distance from the game's version of Joel and his own in order to, quote, not in- imitate too much, end quote, of what he saw in the games. Even without its star playing the games, it seems clear from the teaser of The Last of Us series that HBO is playing close attention um, playing close attention? Isn't it paying close attention? I don't know. Even showing off a clicker that looks like it jumps straight from a PlayStation to a live set. I don't know. I- I'm I'm intrigued. I would hit play on this, but uh, they copyright struck the crap out of the, the stream the last time we talked on this. So um, it just is what it is. But with with all of this, I, I think it'll be good. I just want it to offer even a little something unique because like I said, we've seen we've seen this story time and time again. I don't think we need a, a recap of it that's identical to the games. I would rather them bring something unique.